Hey YouTube, RP Mano here. Got a video for you. This is going to be on my neck knife collection. And I had a couple people ask me to do this video. And so I thought, you know, I really like wearing neck knives, so I thought I'd do a video. Show you what I got and why I like neck knives. Um, so I'll show you what I got here. This is the K Bar Becker Remora neck knife and this is 448 stainless it's five and a half inches overall <laughs> and uh, GFN sheath and it fits in there nice and tight I just did and you missed it so there you go the next one is the Myerco Randall <laughs> Oh man, I gotta quit telling on myself. The ninja needs to pay more, better attention. Hey, what'd you do that for? <laughs> Excuse me while I wipe my face. <laughs> this one is the Myrco Randall King Salvo Lion's Claw. The blade is. One, it weighs 1.8 ounces, six and a half inches overall, and this one goes for about 12.95. I got this one off of the internet from eBay, and the Myrco knife, or, I'm sorry, the K Bar knife was 21.99, about 22 bucks, Blade HQ. And then I made this neck knife. This is the Spiderco Grasshopper. Then I put on a cord and then it has an S beaner, a night eyes S beaner, so it comes off and then I put the lanyard on it. Makes a nice little neck knife. I didn't know what to do with this one. I, I don't care a lot for knives in my pocket, so I thought it would be a nice little neck knife. This next one is my benchmark and this goes for about 20 bucks on eBay. It's 1095 HC with my card to handles. It's a nice little knife. It's a little heavy. I don't know what the exact weight is, but I'm guessing three or four ounces. So pretty heavy to have on your neck. And I'm not crazy about the lanyard, the neck cord. So I'm going to change that out. It also comes with a pocket clip I need to take off. And you know, you really don't know how a neck knife is going to feel until you get it. Unless you can go to a gun show and try them on our knife show or some places sells them. Try them on, see how heavy they are. So some of these I just ordered sight unseen or you know from a picture and then I didn't know how good they were until I got them. And then this one is a United Cutlery from Bud K. It's 1295, it's a little boot knife that I just put the neck lanyard on. And it's pretty sharp, it's double edged, works pretty well. And then this one here is a benchmark and it has G10 scales on it and the I'm not sure what the blade material is actually it says 1095 also on this one so uh... <laughs> he's gonna get me, don't make me stab myself in the face just do it, come on, you're wasting time <laughs> Thanks for the drink. So I like this neck knife. It's a good one. This little cheap, excuse me, Chinese neck knife. It's got a little gut hook on it, and I need to sharpen the gut hook. And I tried taking the finish off of this to shine it up, and I did it around the edges there. It's got the finger hole, so it's a nice little knife. I put jimping in it. Didn't have the jimping on it. Put it on the back too. And this one's not too bad. I don't mind wearing this one fits in nice, doesn't rattle. And then this is another cheap little Bud K blade Tonto knife. It's not very sharp. It's actually a chisel grind. You can see that. So it's flat on one side and then grinds on that side. And it has a whistle. You know, more of a hiking knife if the blade was any good, but like I said, it's not that not that good of a knife. 
So out of all of these, my favorite one would be the but the um, K, K bar, and then the Myerco Rando King is my second, and then I do like the Outdoor Life one. The Boot Max not bad, Spyderco's not bad, but I don't wear that one a whole lot. They lay pretty flat, and you hardly notice they're in there, and nobody's ever, ever detected that I carry a neck knife. I keep it down, tucked in my shirt, and that cord just looks like a necklace cord, you know, cord. And one tip for wearing a neck knife is these connections here that pop off. I do recommend these because if you ever, if you're ever hiking, you fall down a hill or a slope or something and your neck knife catches on a, God forbid, a tree branch or root or something, um, you could get strangled by your knife. And I, I learned that from watching another YouTube video. I can't remember whose video it was I was watching, but it seemed like a good idea. I have them on this one on this one. I haven't done it to all these because I really haven't been wearing them too much, but I wear this one a lot, so I did do it to that. And you can get these from off eBay. Actually, I think Blade HQ also sells these little things. And um, can't, <laughs> shoot, County Com. So there you go. The reason I like wearing neck knives is because I was when I was at work once and I had to cut something. And I can't remember what it was. It was like some banding on a some material I had. But I was like holding on to something with one hand and only had the other hand, and my neck knife was actually out and swinging. So I just reached up and grabbed it and cut what I had to cut. And after that, I've been pretty much sold on these. Not to mention they're a good last stitch knife for, you know, self-defense and they're pretty much undetectable. Like I said, you can hide these pretty well and nobody really knows that you're wearing them. I mean, nobody's ever asked me, hey, what's that hanging on your neck? You know, so there it is. That's my neck knife collection. I hope to get some more. I like the Essies. They look kind of cool. Spyderco makes a couple that would be cool. Benchmade, people like that. I didn't say it. See? Don't squirt me. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you.